to a better life toast and mary and nickels to four of our closest friends at 10 bulbs a pub in white chapel white chapel was a district in london that was known for its crime slums and illicit activities these four women were into flesh trade and were finding it difficult to eke out a living it was past midnight mary ann nichols waved goodbye to her friends and went into the cold london night the cobbled streets were lit by gas lights wore a menacing wore a menacing look if you were on the streets you would have last seen mary ann nichols entering a dark alley toastmaster for the day fellow toastmasters and guests as she entered the dark alley a tall man in a trench coat a hat and a knife in his hand started to follow her the sounds of his boots stomping pierced the cold night air and this was the last heard of mary ann nichols it was 4 am in the morning and one bright young policeman was on, was on his night shift he was patrolling the streets with his kerosene lamp as he was walking gaily he noticed something ahead he went ahead to investigate held his lamp turned high and ah he had never seen such a sight before in his life it was a body of a woman who was brutally murdered he froze for a moment then regained his composure and blew his whistle with all his might the british police caught in the area and over the victim it was soon identified that the dead body was of mary ann nichols britain was horrified by this murder and wanted to bring the killer to justice frederick aberline the bright british officer was chosen to lead this case because of his extensive experience as soon as he is taken to the investigative scene he goes to the body and then he surveys it his sharp eyes catch something he bends down and picks a sprig of grapes this is unusual thought frederick white chapel was an area that didn't have a lot of money and buying grapes was something costly this must have been left by the killer frederick thought to himself after a long day of police work frederick aberland goes home flings his coat off pours himself a drink and sits on his favorite chair and goes over the details of the case all the leads lead to a dead end who could commit such a murder frederick thought to himself and goes into a dreamless slumber five months roll by and then all hell break loose four more dead bodies are found in the london coal the facts of the case become even more chilling these women are into the flesh trade these women were the friends of mary ann nichols and more importantly after every death the killer used to send letters to frederick aberline taunting him to catch him in those letters he would mention that he enjoyed killing these women and at the end he would sign catch me if you can sign jack the ripper all hell blake cruise London goes into a frenzy the newspapers catch on to this name jack the ripper the people of london feel really scared feel really worried and on every street corner you could have seen posters which said beware of jack the ripper beware of jack the ripper queen victoria from the buckingham palace puts pressure on the police and more importantly on Fran frederick aberline Frederick Aberline on the other hand is at his wit's end 
On one hand, he is affected by the taunts of the killer, and on the other hand, the pressure by the public, by the queen, is becoming too hard to handle. This starts taking toll on his marriage. His wife looks at him and tells, This is affecting us. Stop pursuing this case. Frederick Aberline takes his wife hand and tells her, Give me two more weeks, sweetheart, and I will make the streets of London safe once again. With this new found energy and enthusiasm, he goes back to his office and starts reviewing the details of the case. He looks at the sprig of grapes. He goes over the suspects. And then, Eureka! It hits him. This is not just a regular killing, but it is a ritual killing. This was not a killing of passion, but this was a killing that was planned and had a motive. With this newfound insight, he starts moving. He and his team starts moving ahead. They start interviewing witnesses. They start apprehending suspects and interrogating them. Go over the files time and again, time and again. They work for more than 20 hours for the next three months. And at the end of three months, here is what they have to present. Suspect number one were the Freemasons. Now the Freemasons was a, was a group that was formed centuries ago. But in Britain at that time, in the, in, in the 1800s, they were used to protect the monarchy. It was told, or there was a myth which stated that Prince Edward, the son of Queen Victoria, had an affair with one of these friends. They got married and they bore a child. Now it would have been a sacrilege at that time for Prince Edward to be married to one of these ladies and that son would have been an heir to the throne. Could this group finish this lady, finish this unfortunate woman so that they could suppress the truth? The second theory that was propounded by Frederick Aberline was a killer, a serial killer named George Chapman. Now he was a killer who was from Poland but came to London at that time. <coughs> he was also known towards being very violent towards women. Could this person have killed these women? In one of the interrogations, his wife mentioned that she suspected him of going out at night during the time of the murders. However, the case gets even more mysterious. A lot has passed from that case, more than 100 years. But till date, we do not know who killed those unfortunate women. Frederick Aberline was awarded because he pursued the case with all sincerity and was awarded many medals. After that, he took a quiet service of a security job and then faded into oblivion. The fate of the unfortunate woman, who killed the unfortunate woman, one does not know. In the movie From Hell that starred Johnny Depp, there is this wonderful line which says that Jack the Ripper gave birth to the chaotic 20th, 20th century which had so many serial killings, which had so many murders. And this is one of those cases that was magnified by the modern press. And till date, you have people trying to find who the killer is. There are so many theories. The killer may have been found, but there is something so very mysterious about this that it would still remain in the mind of the people.